Now, with banks lending less and big companies tightening the purse strings, small and medium-sized businesses are finding it harder than ever to access cash. But what if they could sell IOUs, money due to them that they haven't yet been paid? Michelle Fleury investigates. For years, businesses turned here when they needed money to Wall Street. New York, one of the financial centers of the world. After going on a binge of risky lending, bankers have woken up. And now small and medium-sized companies are finding their source of money has dried up. For companies feeling the credit crunch, a new online marketplace, the receivables exchange, may be the answer. According to the Koch founder, firms can use it to access cash by selling the money owed to them by other companies. The idea came from our experience uh, in running small and medium businesses. And what we found was that there was no particularly efficient, flexible, and easy way to go and source working capital when and if you needed it. So how does it work? A manufacturer might sell an invoice for $10,000 due in 25 days from, say, Toyota for $8,000. The manufacturer gets the $8,000 right away. The buyer gets the full amount from Toyota when the bill comes due. And the receivables exchange takes a cut from both the buyer and seller. The terms here are set um, that the auction is going to run for five days, uh, that we're willing to have a minimum advance of 80% of the face value of the invoice. Jack Karamanukian is the owner of a recruitment agency. With his clients taking longer to pay, he decided to try the receivables exchange. It basically takes the, uh, the financial burden or the worry of when we're going to get paid uh, out of the equation. So therefore it's worth the fee effectively? Absolutely, um, because those are fees that we can forecast ahead of time. For those whose job it is to worry about cash flow, the idea of selling your invoices isn't new. But with the financial industry in turmoil, this marketplace may have been created at exactly the right time. Michelle Fleury, BBC News, New York. Well, we all know the logo, don't we?